Hey everyone, so I'm basically crying. No, I'm not crying, but I'm very, very upset. This video took two hours to record and the first hour of the video was done in one part and I did the other part in another hour of recording. And turns out the first part is corrupted, so I lost the video for that. Now anyways, today we are going to build a house on floorplans.com. So what I basically did in the first part of the video was build a bit, but also go to floorplans.com. And if you go to floorplans.com, you can actually choose what house you want and it gives you floor plans for the house that you actually look for. So what I did in the first part of the video was look for a house with two bedrooms because I did want a house where I had one bedroom and then room left for an office space and then I wanted one or one and a half bathrooms and a half bathroom is basically a guest toilet for example a toilet with a sink or just a shower room it's basically not a full bathroom as it says half a bathroom and I did want it to be on one floor with one garage and I then looked for home plans and as you can see it gives you a list of home plans where you can choose from and I actually ended up with this one right here at the top two bedrooms one bathroom one floor and one garage just as I looked for in a house and then I started copying this one over here and then if you scroll down a bit you can actually go on to look at the floor plan and copy it you really need to like figure it out a bit yourself how wide everything is but yeah that was in the video I'm gonna show you the floor plan of this house right at the end of the video anyway so I had to stop recording and uh, yeah I kind of forgot which plot <laughs> it was in I did have a floor plans house before that but that was what I tried before and then I was like okay I'm gonna do another house because this is too big but now I forgot where my house is all right so I did end up finding the house I remember now that I messed up the roof and uh, yeah it doesn't really look very very pretty but at least there's a house so let's see what they did with the roof and how they worked with it so they used this kind of like metal sheets we almost have to use this but in another direction so I'm gonna just use these metal sheets over here and they're in like a grayish color so we're gonna just copy that as well and then the side of the house is basically in that same sheeting as well but I am going to go for a brick because I I feel like that will be just a little bit nicer for the house that I'm building. Oh god, I accidentally copied the other. Gosh, that's so annoying when you accidentally click another roof and it just goes to that. Oh gosh, I cannot stand that. That, that triggers me so much. Okay, so there we have our roof. Now we need to do the size of the house as well. And I, yeah, I'm just gonna be going for that brick that I used on the top floor to make it a little bit more cozy. Oh, and in the other image right here. Okay, so we do have another image. The roof is kind of really, really dark here. So maybe that will be a nicer look for it although I'm not sure but we can try all right and then the garage just has like a normal roof so we're gonna add that as well doesn't that really like fight with the house though like how the house looks and then the garage I don't know kind of looks strange might lower the roof part right here why is it gosh that is so annoying okay you know what just gonna keep that same thing we paint it in the color of the house since they did that here as well and actually the garage is one with windows inside it so maybe that wasn't the right garage and we need to go for another one yeah this one seems like a better fit for this house. So taking that does look something like this, doesn't it? All right, we're, we're just gonna keep that. Same thing for the door. All right, now we need to go back to the floor plan. So there's actually no windows on the side. This looks so weird because there's only one window at the side of this house and this doesn't really look appealing to me, but all right. So there's this double driveway gate, which I want in a single door, but that doesn't seem to exist here, which is kind of sad, actually. Well, I guess we're gonna have to work with a grass one then and paint it in like I don't know same material that's so ugly oh gosh no and you cannot put doors in here can you okay you know what just going back to the fences and then what we're gonna do not that fence gosh something like this then the wall and then in that wall we're just gonna have an open door plain door frame something like that and can we fill that part up with the new shapes that we have gotten with the wall basic opening right here so if I place that here and I resize it to be smaller we can place that one in the middle and if we drag that out that's gonna be so ugly oh gosh I can already yeah I can already tell what's going to happen it's gonna leave a tiny little gap at the edge as you can see this does not look nice at all nope 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 just removing the wall keeping it like that yeah that, that's what we're gonna do or maybe same thing as we did here just pillars and a fence on top I think that might be the best option to go for here and then inside the house I'm not gonna put too much extra detail to just leave space for 
or whatever you want to build. So I'm just gonna basically copy what's in the floor plan. So what they did was have a wooden floor in the main area. And then they chose carpet in the bedrooms. I would never choose carpet personally, but I feel like a lot of Americans do. So I feel like this is a very American house. Even with the closets, we don't usually have built-in closets like that. We just usually put wardrobe, but I could be wrong here. And then all that's left to do, as you can see in the front of the house right here, is like fill it up with a bunch of plants and flowers However, we don't want withering flowers, so we are gonna add some garden sprinklers if I still have some. All right, so I'm going to leave it at this because I am not going to keep this house. I just wanted to show you that you can actually build a house with floorplans.com with your specifications in mind, and it's really useful. So this is the house that we have copied from floorplans.com. If I do not forget, I will leave a link to that house in the description of this video. Let's check out what I made of it. It is very undiesel and very basic, but I did just want to show you the basics. So let's hide the grid for a second and so you what it looks like so this is my version of it this is what it looks like on a photo this is my version of it and this is what it looks like on the photo so let's go out of build mode and check what it's all about so if I remember correctly oh let me boost my moods for a second and if I remember correctly I looked for a house with one and a half or one bathroom and two bedrooms because I did want a home office however I did turn it into a bedroom now so I uh, might change that although I don't think I will keep that house I don't like how the roof turned out so I don't know just kind of looks weird to me but this is the front of the house let's wait a bit till the sun comes up didn't it usually become daylight when it was like 6 a.m and now it's 6 30 what it's it's night even longer now okay but here, here we go that's uh the house in daylight well barely daylight but still you can uh you can have a nice look at it so there's a bunch of flowers and plants at the front of the house you got your garage which is completely undecorated in my case then entering the house we had to change up quite a few things as well because there used to be stairs here however since we cannot build under roofs we don't need an attic. This is the very neutral <laughs> sitting area with the TV or entertainment area. We have the dining room with of course the kitchen and this counter is completely bugged out. And then we have a door to the backyard which isn't done as well. Continuing our way to the first and master bedroom. Yes, there's a bed so it's a bedroom. And then you got your closet over here. Then we got our bathroom in the house which of course is the only window on this side and then we have another kids bedroom at the front and that's basically what I looked for I looked for a house with two bedrooms one bathroom and we found one so I'm quite happy that we did now do I love this house no I do not I didn't really put a lot of detail into it and it just looks very very basic but I did want to show you what it looks like if you copy a house from floorplans.com and it's actually the first time I copied off of a floor plan so I don't know I don't really like doing that I just wanted to show it off so I promised at at the end of this video I would show you the floor plan and how many blocks it took to build this so let me turn on my grid so that you can easily see so each bedroom is four blocks then the bathroom is three blocks as you can see and then I just filled this room up so I'm just gonna be quiet and uh, sit here for a little bit so that I can show you what it looks like the garage comes out one bit out of the kitchen or where the house ends at least and then the roof didn't want to work so what I did was make these slanted roofs and try to connect them together but as you can see it didn't really want to work out so I got frustrated with that. Now I'm definitely not going to redo it because I did lose quite a lot of video and I'm really frustrated. I need a break after this. Oh gosh. But basically, this is a beat house. So that was it for today, guys. Let me know what you think of the house in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.